Welcome to Tooth and Claw TV. This is part two of our foggy morning coyote hunt. We're now back at the house. My wife Crystal's out working in the garden. What does she hear? A coyote howling right on our property. I grab my rifle, she grabs the camera, and we're off. Well, this is uh, it's mid morning, and me and Crystal actually had a successful coyote stand this morning. We killed one probably about two hours ago, but we've got here back to the house. We're actually right out here in the driveway, and Crystal's been out here working in the garden and she heard a couple coyotes howling down here in the holler. So the wind's right, you know, we got pretty decent wind. So we're gonna go out here at the end of the field, see if we can't call us another one up, so stay tuned. Some crazy dogs howling back anyway. Got a coyote howling. Second cow just now. That's uh, what, 10 steps? <laughs> awesome. We're gonna get this thing real quick.
That is a, that is a big cow. Good grief. Oh. Awesome. Now this hunt took place less than 300 yards behind our house. We knew exactly where the coyote was at. Crystal had heard it howling, so we went right in that direction, got back there and crowded the coyote, got set up and let out a few howls on the smoking gun howler diaphragm from Fox Pro and answered that back with some howls from the Fox Pro CS24C. Followed with some growls and some pup distresses, but a few minutes later we had that big male coyote within 12 steps of us. He was using the same rifle as we did in the last hunt, our 243 from Hager Custom Rifles, sitting on Swagger Bypass tree stand slash blind model, shooting a 90 grain bullet. <laughs> it is a great big old coyote. We might even weigh this and it's one of the bigger coyotes I've killed in the, this year for sure. Man, look at the chomper gun. Let me zoom in on that. That one is just knurled off there. I'd say that tooth didn't feel very good. But this coyote is, I can see the roof of our house there. So it kind of shows you how close, you know, how they'll live close to, uh, you know, the civilization. You know, we're out here every day. Got a little blue healer dog runs around out here all the time. Our garden where Crystal's at, we heard she heard the coyotes, isn't it? 150 yards up through there, so awesome. And this thing, great big old male coyote. Good grief. And he was actually probably standing right here on a shot. Yeah, right here, until we kicked up stuff. He was standing here, and right here's a CS24. Six, six steps from the call. You see the roof of the house and everything. Yeah, house in the background, so house back there. And then we were just sitting right there. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve steps where we're sitting. Well, we don't have to drag this one very far. Now that was a fun hunt. That made our second coyote of the morning. And it was pretty cool to kill one right behind the house. We don't own about 17 acres right there, but that was plenty of land to get the job done. Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.